Hey there! Uh, in this video I would like to show you what I can do with a 3D mouse, uh, how I set it up and what I think are the, the, the gaming opportunities this offers to uh, Star Citizen. But first of all I would like to explain what a, a 3D mouse is. Um, what I'm using here is the 3D Connection Space Navigator, which is also uh, called a, a 3D mouse. It looks like a sort of a puck. And what makes it special is that this is a controller that has six degrees of freedom. Uh, compare this to a joystick. Uh, a joystick uh, typically has uh, two or three degrees of freedom. Uh, a third if you have a twist or if you're using pedals. Now in this video I'm only using the 3D mouse in a decoupled mode. Uh, I haven't really tried it out uh, in coupled mode uh, because that it's not really my aim. I'll talk a bit more about setup and, and use later. Uh, it's also partly because I had to invert the Y axis to make uh, uh, decoupled mode more uh, joysticky. And uh, by the way, there's no roll in decoupled mode. What's up with that? No roll? I need roll. Come on, guys, uh, put it in there, please. Anyway, uh, a 3D mouse is uh, designed to manipulate a 3D object or a camera in a 3D modeling software like uh, 3D Studio Max or Maya. And uh, as such, uh, out of the box, it isn't recognized by Windows as a gaming device. Now, I bought uh, my Space Navigator several years ago uh, for 3D modeling stuff, but as soon as I uh, uh, learned of uh, Star Citizen, I knew I wanted to use this controller. Unfortunately, setting uh, the 3D mouse up in uh, Star Citizen was quite a pain and actually isn't practical at this moment. Uh, this moment being uh, Arena Commander 0.8 plus a few patches. Um, I did a lot of searching, uh, trying to figure this out and eventually I found this uh, blog post by uh, Lasse B, who posted on a, on, a, on, a, on a forum for some other space sim that's in development. And he explains how he set it up, so I'll put a, a link to that uh, forum post in the description uh, on the YouTube page. So if you want to you know, uh, play with that, uh, you can read it uh, over there. But basically what it boils down to is that you install a VJoy, which creates a virtual joystick and then you install uh, SN to VJoy, which uh, maps the output of the 3D mouse to that virtual joystick. And then you have access to the six uh, axes of the controller. You should be okay then, except you're not. Currently, this will only work in Star Citizen when Star Citizen, the application, does not have focus. So what you're seeing right here is all nice and looks full screen and stuff. But actually, I'm using Star Citizen in windowed mode and then alt-tapped to a different application like a, a notepad or something. And then I can use the 3D mouse to control my spaceship, which is kind of ridiculous, basically. Yeah, well, it sucks. So that's also the reason why I didn't record the original sound, because there was no sound, because Star Citizen wasn't the active application. So I really hope this will be fi fixed and I, I really hope there will be native support for uh, 3D uh, mice uh, within Star Citizen because I really think it kicks ass. Anyway, once you've uh, jumped through all of these hoops it's, and, and created uh, an XML file to, to bind, uh, the axis to the actual controls you want, uh, you're still not completely there. Uh, I had to change uh, the, the, the config file that came with SN to VJoy uh, to calibrate controls. Now what I did there is basically this. As I said before, I inverted the Y axis so it works properly like a joystick. I set all dead zones to zero. I played around with uh, linear acceleration, but that didn't really work out very well, so uh, I set it back to uh, 1.2. But I did change 
a non-linear acceleration. For rotation I set it to 1.25 and for lateral movement I set it to uh, 1.75 and specifically for the X axis I set it to 2.25 which seems to work well. Um, lateral movement along the X axis seems to be more, more jerky than along the uh, others. Uh, so I hope that will be smooth out a little bit in the further development of the game. But uh, once I had that set up, it, you know, it, well, it's kind of smooth now. So, uh, what is this all good for? Well, uh, first my thoughts on normal flight and uh, dog fighting. For that kind of, uh, well, uh, coupled flight, I would still use a stick. However, like most people, uh, I would really like to be able to strafe in coupled mode and for that I would like to use uh, the, the space navigator. <clears throat> so I would use my uh, dominant hand, I'm an FT, uh, on, on my joystick, use my other hand on the, on the 3D mouse and that way I, it would be more like a course movement but that would be uh, enough you know to uh, to, to strafe to avoid uh, some other guy who's trying to headbutt me. So uh, that's where I'm standing uh, uh, right now at this moment. I might change my opinion later. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to playing around with uh, uh, Xeon uh, ships uh, and, and their uh, engine layout. Um, but right now my, my focus is more on decoupled mode. And here I think uh, a 3D mouse uh, absolutely rules. I think you could, you could uh, replicate this movement with a, a dual joystick setup, but I've, since you would uh, split your control uh, in, 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 across your two hands, I think you would need a lot of training to get uh, this kind of uh, fluidity and, and precision in, in, in movement. And with the 3D mouse, it, it feels much more intuitive. And now I just can't imagine myself not landing in a decoupled mode with a, a 3D mouse. Uh, the precision you get is, is just great. Another obvious area where I think this will excel is in the exploration mode. Uh, I can really uh, scan uh, small uh, crevasses in asteroids like this. Uh, with a really great precision. Uh, another kind of role you could uh, play with this is that of a, a scavenger. Uh, so when, like, when uh, two organizations uh, feel the need to uh, go at each, uh, at each other's uh, throat, you know, I, I would just sit back, uh, let them get at it, and once they're, once they're all done, then I would go in and I could scavenge the wrecks of the battleships that are laying about and uh, I could really get into the wreckage and, and explore it uh, very closely and thoroughly. Um, and I wouldn't have to go EVA in my suit, which would make me much slower and much more vulnerable. So I, I think this would be really great for that. Uh, and I hope uh, that uh, maybe this can be taken into account in, the, in the game design. Now with this level of control I can also kind of crawl over an asteroid and I think that is uh, it's, it's great if you want to either set up an ambush or maybe if you want to spy on a certain outpost or something like that. Um, I think this would be great, uh, especially coupled with uh, some low emission profile. I also think this could be great in a more utilitarian role, like uh, controlling uh, some maintenance robot, uh, or uh, for instance for uh, moving cargo between two ships in flight. Uh, anyway, I think this uh, really offers up a lot of new uh, gaming possibilities, which I hope uh, will be rewarded uh, in-game. So that's what I got right now, um, well, I'll see you in the first.